Hi everyone, this is the Math 10C Polynomials Review. This is Written Response 7G. I just have to factor this. Now the first thing I'm looking for here are, are any common factors. Well, there's no common variables there, so let's look at the coefficients. Okay, 28 has got 2, 4, and 7 in it. Okay, 9 is just 3 and 3. There's, there's nothing common between those two, so there's nothing common overall. So this is a trinomial, so we're just going to attack this the way we do our trinomials. We're going to take that first term, multiply it by our last term. And so now we're looking for two numbers whose product is negative 112 x squared and whose sum is positive 9x. Okay, now this is not obvious. This is going to take a little bit of work on your part. You're going to have to go play with the factors of, of 112, negative 112. Now, there aren't that many, honestly, to choose from, so it shouldn't take you too long to realize that this has got to be negative 16x, sorry, sorry, I've got that backwards, positive 16x and negative 7. That is how I'm going to get that, that sum of positive 9. So now I put my two binomials there, the, the parentheses around the binomials, and what I've discovered here are the outer and the inner products. So now, whatever term goes right here, it has to be a factor of 28x squared and also of 16x because it's going to be used to build both of those. So what's the largest kind of factor that would be shared between those two? Like what would be the biggest number that I could put in there? And between 28 and 16, that's got to be 4. So if this is 4x, this over here has to be 7x. That way I get that product of 28x squared. If this is 4x, this over here has to be 4, so that when you multiply those together, we get 16x. And if this is 7x and I need this inner product to be negative 7x, well, this just has to be minus 1. And so there we go. I factored it. 4x minus 1 times 7x plus 4.